Interactive mode is the mode used for annotating and controlling content on your computer desktop from your Brightlink projector. You can use the pen as a writing instrument to make notes over displayed content, such as PowerPoint presentations, websites, and PDF documents. The pen can also be used as a mouse for tasks such as opening and closing applications and navigating and scrolling. In short, most everything you can do on your computer with your mouse, you can now do with your interactive pen on the display from your Brightlink projector. To use interactive mode, click on the computer screen icon on the control toolbar. The drawing toolbar will appear at the side of the projected image. The drawing toolbar allows you to toggle back and forth between a pen and mouse, draw shapes, create text boxes, select objects, choose pens and highlighters for drawing, and various erasers for removing digital ink or clearing the screen. Pick up the pen and touch the mouse icon at the top of the drawing toolbar. The icon will turn blue when selected. Once you have selected the mouse, you can use the pen to open programs, select objects, and more. For example, if you wish to open your web browser, simply click on the icon with your pen. Once opened, you can use your pen to click on links as you normally would with your mouse. With the drawing toolbar, you can also draw shapes. By clicking on the shapes icon, you will have the ability to select line thickness, line color, as well as if the shape is an outline or filled. Once you've selected the desired attributes, you simply need to put the pen tip to the board and drag it across the board to create the shape. You can also use the pen to insert text on your board. When you touch the text icon, you will have the ability to drag the pen across the board creating a text box. After you create the text box, the on-screen keyboard will appear, allowing you to type in text with the interactive pen. Easy Interactive Tools also has a cursor tool for selecting objects. Click on the arrow and then you can select the text box you just made and move the text where you would like on the screen. You can select the pen tool by clicking on the pen icon. It will allow you to select line thickness as well as colors. The lines you draw with the pen tool will be opaque. In a similar way, you can select the highlighter tool. It too allows you to select line thickness and color. The highlighter pen allows you to draw over text or objects drawing attention to them without fully obscuring them. There are also quick pen tools that allow you to select a black, red, or blue pen without having to use the pen tool dropdowns. Simply select the color you wish to use and the thin line by selecting the small dot on the left or a thick line by choosing the large dot on the right of the icon. To erase any ink annotations, you can use the eraser tool. Similar to the pen, you can use the small dot on the left for a thin eraser and the large dot on the right for a large eraser. To erase all the ink annotations at once, you can select the Erase All icon. You can choose to have the toolbar showing at all times or to hide once you begin writing. The lock icon toggles back and forth between tilted or unlocked and flat, which makes the toolbar hide once you begin writing. The Command Toolbar also allows you to save files Simply select the Save icon. When you do, a Save dialog box will open along with an on-screen keyboard that is part of your operating system. In the dialog box, you may select the type of files to save such as PDF, JPEG, Bitmap, PNG, or EIT files. Using the on-screen keyboard, you can key in the name of the file you wish to use and save to your hard drive.